Hello everyone and welcome to this video. What we're going to do today in this one is we're going to recreate the Weeping Angels from Doctor Who. And if you don't know how they work, basically they will not, the NPC won't move while you're looking at it. If you're no longer looking at it, then that's when it will start moving. So to get started, I've just created a duplication of my um, test world and I've cleared some of the stuff out. I'm actually going to add um, another wall here just so we can hide behind. So the first thing we do is we need a nav mesh in this world. So we come to the plus and we can do nav. We want nav mesh bounds. And by default, when you um, have this cube and you put it in the world, if you press P, you will see the green. And that's basically where the AI will be able to navigate to. So what I can do is if I just pull this out like this, and you can see a little bit more. There we go. So all the green spots are what the uh, AI can navigate to. So these gaps here, um, the AI cannot. There is settings that will allow you to um, lower this so they can get closer. But for this, this is fine. And I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to call it uh, Angel NPC. Now in here, we're going to get a blueprint class and it's going to be a character because this allows the NPC to move around. I'm going to call it BP underscore um, enemy angel. Now I don't have a model of the angel, unfortunately, so we're just going to use my good old tutorial TPP that comes with Unreal. I'm going to lower it down and make sure it's uh, facing forward like so and now we are going to do the logic for the angel so let's start with this we're going to get a, a variable and we're going to call this um no we're not so now we're in here, what we're going to do first is let's set the logic for the um, angel. First thing we need is a branch, like so. We're going to get the player character. No, I'm sorry. Get the player character. We're going to get the actor location, like so. And we're going to get the actor forward vector. Next, we need get actor location, which will be self for the angel itself. We're going to minus the actor, the angel's location by the player's location. And then we're going to normalize it like so. So once we have this, uh, the get actor forward vector, we're going to use a dot product. So what it does is it finds the, it's, it's, I'm not a hundred percent sure, but it's basically used to find which direction, uh, two objects are and if they're like interlining with each other, like, I, I'm not sure hundred percent how it works, but it works. The top node should go into the normalize the bottom, the actor forward vector. Next, we're going to do a greater, and this is the basically the angle that you need to be looking towards for the NPC to not move. I have found 0 0.7 works well, but you'll probably need to test it. The Boolean will go into the branch. If it's true, we're going to do a line trace by channel. And this is basically to check if the player is an, is looking at the NPC through a wall. And if the wall is in the way, the NPC should still be allowed to move. To do this, we get the player camera manager. 
and we get camera location. That's just to get where the camera is in the world and use that as a reference. The end will be the get actor location. Or we can make it better. We could get socket location. Uh, does this have a socket? It goes here, head. So we can do uh, head and put that into the end and we can do one frame here. We can do a branch and we can say that uh, if that's true, uh, that the, there is a wall in the way, we do an AI move to. The pawn is self and the destination is the target actor is get player character. Get player character. Now, if it's false, so that the there is no wall in the way, we're going to stop movement immediately. Like this. So we're going to stop the NPC from moving. Um. From the false of this, that just goes into AI move to. What we want then on, we should be able now to test this. So let's see if I, uh, let's bring the angel in like this. So if I try, see, so the angel is, I'm looking at the angel and the angel cannot move. I look away, the angel can move. If I do this, see, if I'm watching the angel, I'm watching it, it's tracing towards me to see if anything is in the way. As soon as there is, it knows that it can move because I can't really see it. Oh, so if I go all the way over here, this and I turn away. Oh, see it's moving. I look down. So looking down isn't doing it, but looking forward. So that's a very just a very short tutorial on how to do uh, an angel like this. What you could do then is um you could add a box in the front of the uh like this so if we do a box collision and we add that say in the front of the angel like this and on begin overlap other actor equal oh, equals oh, equal player character if that's true then print string and uh, call to you so let's try this so it moves I turn away caught you there you go that's when you would do the effect of it killing you or if you wanted to force the player to look at it and then do something, you could do a get uh, uh, get player controller, get control rotation, and uh, no, sorry, set control rotation. The new rotation would be find look at rotation. And that would be actor location. Your actor location and the target could be the this here. So we could do it like this. Try now. So if I wait, grabs us and we're looking at very, very high up. So maybe not that, maybe just get actor location 
like that. Let's try that. So we look away, and then it looks at us, and then that's when you could play like the uh, animation of it killing you or something. So this has been a short tutorial, but you probably could add multiple of these to make it a bit difficult. So you can see if you add a couple, then it becomes more uh, more dangerous because then you have to deal with two of them. So that one is trying its best to get around. So they're blocking each other. Then if I do this, oh, I think they both grabbed me, so it bugged out. Yeah, yeah, it's bugging out. But this is one way of just having a very simple, uh, terrifying NPC for your game. So I hope you've enjoyed that. And I'll, uh, if you want to support me, I have a Patreon. Um, I also have a buy me a coffee. And I will see you next time.